All right, so let's take a look at how to actually play the tremolo. If we want this beautiful flowing tremolo, each note is important. And so what we're going to do at a very slow tempo, very slow speed, is to look at exactly every single motion in the right hand. And that way, when we speed it up, we can still have some sort of control over it. We can know what it is that's, that's happening. So first, I'll show you the moves and then we'll talk more about it. So first off, always practice the tremolo on the second or third string. The reason is it's much easier to play on the top E string because you don't have to miss the other string. So you might as well start practicing on the second string and that'll give you more precision when you're playing it. So you play a thumb note. I'm just going to use the A, the low A, and then the open B as the tremolo note. Whenever you're practicing tremolo, use as little left hand as possible just a basic chord or either just nothing so that you can focus all your attention over here on the right hand. So when the thumb plays, so fingers start lightly in the hand. When the thumb plays, let the A finger just a quickly P I M A index, middle, annular, thumb, pulgar. Um, so the P plays, the A comes out and rests on the string let the other two fingers still be slightly back. It's okay, they might want to shake a little bit or something because they're not used to holding back like that. As we play it more closer to tempo, then they won't be actually holding back there, but they'll still, we still need this step. So now just the A string or just the A finger is touching the string here. Now when the A finger plays, we're going to throw out both the M and the I finger, the I further, and then the M can come to rest on that same string. And so when the M finger plays from the big knuckle move into the palm, it'll pull the I finger into the string. Then the I finger plays and the P preps at the exact same time. Boom. So we have these discrete movements. First off, the P plays and the A preps. That's one thing. Boom. Then the A plays, the M and the I throw out and the M comes to rest on the string. Boom. Then the M plays, and that pulls the I into the string. And then the I plays and the P preps. Boom. One thing. So these are the moves. And the, the better you get these at a very, like, very slow tempo so that you can actually stop in between each one and say there's this move, then there's this move, then this move, then this move and we start over. Four things for four, four notes. And we're always preparing the next note as a part of that. Now, it's going to be really tempting to say, cool, got it. And then just start thwacking away at the tremolo and try to make it fast because that's what, well, everybody that plays tremolo, it's a fast technique. So I just want to practice it fast. But this is what's going to happen if, let me just like pull out my shiny crystal ball, then if you throw all three fingers out and then come in with all three, what happens is when you speed that up, you get a lilt. Boom, ba da boom, ba da boom, ba da boom, ba da boom. It's a gallop. Boom, da da boom, da da boom, da da boom. What this method of playing it does by making a split between the A and the M and the I, to thinking of those, to think of those as different things. First there's the A, then there's the M and the I, instead of A M I all at once, is it puts just a slight break in there. It puts a pause in there and it allows it to be more even over time. Now, whenever you get to full speed, it's really fast. And so you might not be able to track exactly, there's this finger, then those, then this finger, then those, but you can think it. And you can say, this is the way I'm practicing it really slowly. And then whenever I speed it up, this is what I still want. This is my intention for this. And you can take a video and slow it down if you'd like to, to see what's actually happening. It ends up being a wave. We have P and then A and then M and the I, P and the A and the M and the I. And so it, like this, instead of like this, which is what P and then A and I all at one time. That sort of thing. That's, that's more like this, whereas this becomes more of, of a wave that's, that's happening. So when you're practicing this, 
we'll talk about different techniques to practice it and different ways to get it smoother and faster and more comfortable and all that. But at root, these are the core movements of the tremolo. Just to review them one more time. And I would do this on your leg when you're sitting in traffic or waiting. I would review this a million times a day, just in your hand. P plays, I comes out, and then the M and the I come out, M plays, I plays, and P preps. And so you can just say it you, so that you understand exactly what it is that you're saying and playing so that you really understand these are the moves that I'm going for. And that in time, this will speed up into this beautiful even tremolo. So before we move on to uh, just improving our tremolo, now that we know it, there are a couple of things to take note of. First off, when you play, it's when you're practicing, you can let your finger stop on the string. So it's really... But, but it's okay and actually preferable because that means you're preparing it fast. When you actually play that, you might not want it. You might want it to be... It's a different, it's a different texture. Listen. So this is a very... That's a very legato tremolo as opposed to even if I you can really hear the stop between each one I prefer a really um, usually if it's a if it's a melodic singing line I would prefer it to be as smooth and connected as possible but to do that you need to practice it so that it's very separated and very even because the evenness is the goal if it's if it's even it's going to sound faster than it actually is if it's uneven it will sound sloppy even if it's very fast so it's an illusion but if you have it very even if you're if the volume of each note and the rhythm is absolutely the timing is absolutely perfect and that all the volumes are exactly the same then the ear will just put it together it'll um it'll basically start ignoring it. It'll just say, okay, that's one thing, and it'll turn into like a singing tone in the ear, in the mind. It's a very cool thing, and that's the illusion that we're trying to create with our tremolo, is that. To do that, it has to be very even, it has to be all the same volume. To do that, we need to practice it note by note. And so, it's a little bit going through the back door to get there, but it is the fastest way to get a really beautiful, even, uh, tremolo is to look at it note by note even though it seems excruciatingly slow at first and we just want to go and play it um, this practice will pay off great dividends and get you playing that way very much faster than it would otherwise if you were just to start thwacking at it and then try to fix everything after the facts all right so this has been how to play the tremolo just seems so easy, doesn't it? So simple, but not so easy. So in the next one, we'll talk about some different things we can do to improve this tremolo. See you there.